Hey everybody, this is going to be the DYS Samguk, the series uh, shoe, uh, 2306, 2500 KV. And there's how the motors come packaged. So, been waiting on these. It was took a little while for him to get here. So, let's dig in. Uh, you know, it's a comic or something. Yep, the Empire of Shu. It talks about history of the Empire. First thing I noticed, big glob of balancing putty right there. Big goober. It's not a full hollow shaft, partially hollow. The air gap isn't too super big. They feel about like the Racer Stars, the 2306. The windings are way bigger. Well, they feel a little bit more notchy, just a little bit more. But they look just way bigger for some reason. 28.5, huh, just weird. Maybe because it's all open and flat. But yeah, you can see the windings, full view of everything. Oh, there's some sloppy winding right there. You can see where the windings kind of sketch in here too. Oof, I don't like that. But other than that, the rest of them look all right. Definitely not arced magnets. You can tell that right off the bat just by looking at them. You can see that the magnets are totally flat when I stick the screwdriver over it. Lines up perfectly on that edge. Definitely not arced magnets. But we'll see what the performance is like. I suppose I can get a weight really quick first. And it comes with, oh, it comes with extra clips, two extra clips. Well, maybe I'll pull the bell off really quick then and show you. There's a little dent in the, the bearing cap right here and here. Two spacer bushings in there. It's hard to get a hold of these ones. Okay, another big booger of balancing putty right there. They've definitely been balanced. They threw a bunch, big booger here and a big booger down there. Uh, a little bit right here. There's some balancing putty right there. Can't see on the top side. The top side all looks good, but if you look down here. There's that one winding right there. I was saying looks pretty sketchy. Right there. See how it's kind of loose. It is the end that comes over and comes out, so it just wasn't pulled all the way tight. I don't like to mess with them too much because I don't want to knock the insulation off, but I definitely don't want it rubbing on the magnets. But And this one too, you can see. All the windings kind of stacked up there. I've seen it on other motors. It's just where the winding gets filled up instead of it being down a little lower. You can see where the windings could have been down there a little bit more when they stopped. They just wound it up to the top and but it's not going to hurt anything. It's tucked in there so as long as I didn't scratch the insulation and have it short out when I was jamming the screwdriver in there. It should be fine. And you can see this bearing looks good on the top side. Right around here, that looks good. But you can see the two dents. Dent there and there. That's just in the, the dust cover of the for the bearing itself. Well, that bearing slides around in there real easily. You just push on it and the, the bearing will move around in there. It's hard to get that little sucker to go back down on there.
I think I got her. A little bit more of a hassle than I'm used to. No, nope, she's in there. Those little shims like to fall into the clip slot. It makes it hard to get them down in there so you can get the clip on. So it's kind of a little bit of fishing around in there, but not that big a deal. So these are equally set distance apart. 16 by 16. The clip's back in the bag. You don't gonna need the prop nut. But those little clips are pretty easy to take on and off. It just takes a little bit of time, just a little bit of finesse. So the weight with the prop nut, 34 grams. It's got nice long leads, so if you're running a foreign one, you don't you won't have to extend the leads. I like that. These, if you're running a foreign one, obviously you're gonna have to extend the lead with the racer stars. I don't like having to do that. So we'll mount her on to here and spin her up. This is my first set of naked motors without a skirt on them at all. We'll see how I like that. You always hear both ways. You hear good and bad. I like it because the dirt will fall out or, or I don't like it because it gets dirt in them easily. And I better use the same prop I used on the other ones. Okay, so now we're going to run a little thrust test on it. That should be good enough. Um, basically my thoughts on this motor is it's a little bit more efficient versus thrust than the AOK. It's not as efficient, but it has more thrust than the Racer Star. So it kind of depends where you want to go. For the same price between this motor and this motor, the Racer Star, um, DYS shoe. Basically, I'm leaning towards the DYS to be the better of the two motors. So, we gotta do a little bit of durability field testing on them. I gotta get a quad built with both of these, and then I can put it through its paces, and we can see the two. So, like, subscribe. Have a great day.